Hi, I'm Matt with Fully Silent PCs, and this is the Tor Metal DP2 fanless heatsink case. Tor Metal is a new fanless PC company that has a few case designs available now and plans to introduce several more in the next year or two. Uh, the first time I saw the DP2, I was really impressed with the design, and I am glad to report that it met all of my expectations. The DP2 is compatible with many ITX motherboards and either Intel or AMD CPUs. Although obviously with this size, there's no space for any PCIe cards, so no graphics cards. Um, but initial thermal testing of the case shows it able to cool up to 65 watts continuously with no thermal throttling. For this test build, I chose the Gigabyte H370N motherboard, Intel i9-9900K CPU, 16 gigabytes of 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM from Crucial, a 500 gigabyte Crucial P1 NVMe drive, and a Pico PSU from RGeek with a 150 watt AC adapter. The rest of the video will show how the PC is assembled and will include photos of the finished product at the end. Enjoy, and feel free to comment below with any questions. The case comes mostly pre-assembled, which saves us some time. This is the bottom of the case. Case feet are being attached. The motherboard's input-output shield is being inserted, and the motherboard is secured. Thermal paste is added to the CPU. The case's CPU block is attached and tightened. Thermal paste is being added to each groove of the CPU block. Paste is also being added to the end of the heat pipes, as each one is placed with one end on the CPU block and the other end in a groove in the case's heatsink. Thank you. 
Two heat sinks make up the sides of the case, and a third heat sink is located in the front of the case. A sixth heat pipe is used here to help spread heat across the left heat sink. The heat pipes are secured with five grooved aluminum plates. Thermal paste is added to another piece of aluminum that holds the other ends of the heat pipes in the CPU block.
The front power button and LED wires are connected to the motherboard. A Pico PSU is added to the motherboard, and the DC input is attached to the back of the case. Finally, the top plate is fastened to the case using four hand screws. Here is the final result. Like the video and subscribe for more fanless PC content and visit www.fullysilentpcs.com if you are interested in purchasing a pre-assembled fanless PC. Each purchase helps to support this channel and all of the tutorials and testing that I hope can help demystify fanless computers and make them more widely accepted.